Melissa is still gathering new information. We have new impacts, new flood issues going on out there. Melissa, yeah. what, what do you have yeah. now? And you know, Chris, I've been on kind of river patrol duty. So watching the river gauges, the stream gauges, because this is a flash flood event that's unfolding within our creeks and streams. A lot of our roads, there's ponding water, standing water. Few roadways are closed, but all that water flows into the creeks and streams, and that's what's swelling really quickly. So we've had several of these creeks over Atlanta go into major major flood stage. Earlier we were talking about the North Fork of the Peachtree Creek. Well, now I want to take you in. This is Northside Drive, Peachtree Battle, and this is kind of just north of Bobby Jones Golf Course, okay? This is Peachtree Creek at, at the Atlanta Gauge. It's reached 20 feet, and at 20 feet, we start to see flooding along Peachtree Park Drive. These are these are roadways where homes could be flooded if they're not elevated. Peachtree Memorial Park, Colonial Homes Apartments, and homes along that area that are not elevated. Um, they will be under about two feet of water. So I know there's a lot that emergency managers are, are doing right now to try to evacuate people that needed to be evacuated. So that is one that's ongoing right now. Again, this is Highway 41, so Northside Drive, and this is Bobby Jones Golf Course right here, and this is Peachtree Battle Avenue. So that's where the, it's called uh, Peachtree Creek, is passing right there by Northside Drive and Peachtree Battle, and that's where we're noticing that it's in major flood stage right now, not quite to the record, but if it gets to 21 feet, we start to see a lot more of these little tiny kind of roads and neighborhoods off of there right along the creek that start to flood as well. Now I want to take you up to, oh, I zoomed in a little bit more. There we go. So you can see Woodward Way, Peachtree Battle Avenue again, Manor Ridge Drive. These are some locators near that river gauge. All right. I know the map just moved a lot. This is up in Buckhead. This is Highway 19. Rickenbacker Drive. This is Nancy Creek, and this is also one of those that's in major flood stage. It looks like it's crested finally, but about 25 homes along Rickenbacker are at risk for flooding right now, including East Powderhorn Road and Hitching Post Trail. So those are updates in terms of where we're seeing here in the Atlanta metro, like closer inner metro, where there's immediate flooding concerns ongoing. And as Chris was showing you big picture, we got a long way to go. It's a steady swath of rainfall, but embedded within it, we have these areas that are yellow, orange. Those are the heavier rain. So we'll get these little bands of heavier rain as we go through the next few hours that will get more and more intense. That's all Helene pushing its tropical moisture northward. Right now, some of that heaviest rain is on the northwestern side of the metro. We do have heavy rain right on top of some of those creeks that I just showed you, but up into Cobb County, Ackworth, Kennesaw, Dallas, and Paulding County as well. And then up into Bartow County, some of that heavy rain there, that's going to move kind of northwestward. So in towards Rome, in towards Polk County, Cedartown area. Big picture, you can also see some pockets out near Athens that are moderate as well. Here's another little area, Meriwether County up into Southern Coweta County. We've got some of that better rainfall rate these are where the rainfall rates are over an inch an hour, and that's going to be lifting northwest and towards Logansville. So rain is picking up and more rain to come through the overnight. Now, earlier we were saying three to six inches of additional rain. Well, now we're a little bit further into this, so I would say another two to as much as five inches is coming. But that's already a lot that we've picked up and a lot more that's coming. So just kind of recapping, uh, flood risk worsens overnight, two to five inches of rain now. As the winds increase, those peak gusts here in the tropical storm warning, so in the bulk of the metro area, except for the south side, winds will peak gusting around 50 to 70 miles per hour. We think the center of Helene will end up going just east of Atlanta. That's where that higher end of it's going to be. 50 miles per hour, that might be on the west side of Atlanta. But I want everybody to be prepared for those higher gusts. If you're in a hurricane warning, that means out towards Griffin, Spalding County, Pike, Lamar, Upson, Butts County, you could see gusts of hurricane force, so up to 80 miles per hour. That tornado risk is also something we'll be watching overnight tonight, but we are hoping that the most significant tornado risk stays southeast of our area altogether. So a lot of different facets. I want to leave you with this before I toss it back to Chris for the uh, forecast track. This is our flood risk outlook, which shows you this is most of our viewing area in a high risk of flooding tonight. If you know you live near a creek or a stream that floods whenever it rains heavily, make sure you turn on wireless emergency alerts to your phone. 
11 Alive uh, app or just leave your TV on. We're going to be on all night long because, Chris, flooding is very dangerous, but the winds will increase, and then that means more trees come down and power outages later on tonight. Yeah, and that flooding is always dangerous, but it's even more dangerous at night because a lot of people might be driving around. It's dark, and you may not even realize uh, you might just think that it's just some ponding on the road and not really realize what that that the road may be going down, but the water makes it look flat and then you start going down into that water as well. And the floods of 2009, it was heavier during those overnight hours and we we did have some fatalities from people who were driving at night and just did not even realize that they were driving into flood water. So this is why we're telling you we really want you to be at home tonight hunkered down for the rest of the nighttime hours. We're not seeing any breaks. We're going to have more of that rain moving in more flooding conditions here, more of the wind. There's the center of circulation by tomorrow morning. It, we think it's going to be just to the east of the Atlanta area, but still look at this flow all the way around this where we have that heavy rain and the winds there along with it. And then finally a break later, uh, maybe late morning to around lunchtime. We're going to see the rain that's going to be pushing out from North Georgia. We're still going to have breezy conditions out there, though, uh, for the uh, daytime hours and nighttime hours tomorrow. Not as strong as tomorrow morning, but still we're talking winds tomorrow 25 to 35 miles an hour at times. And that's why we stress to you, be careful when you're going to want to go out and do some cleanup outside in your yard or out in your area, if 35 mile an hour wind gusts could still bring down some limbs or still have some issues with additional trees coming down, especially since the ground is so saturated.